the moons of Saturn have a direct influence on Saturn's rings. A natural tendency of ring material is to spread both toward and away from the planet. But the moons, in a complex interplay of gravitational forces, shape the rings and define their structure. Mimas is the innermost of the larger Saturn moons, with an enormous crater, 80 miles wide and 6 miles deep. Mimas is thought to be frozen solid. Tethys, a moon scarred by a crater large enough to hold Mimas. And an ancient chasm more than 1,500 miles long. Dione, a moon with bright radiating patterns on one hemisphere and an underlying presence of craters. Rhea shows an icy face to the cameras. Bright streaks are probably fresh ice ejected from beneath its crust. Enceladus, an extremely bright moon that reflects more than 90% of the sunlight that falls on great plains of ice. A closer photograph reveals that it may be a recently active moon with internal heat that melted the surface. Iapetus, the outermost of the larger moons. The dark side contrasts sharply with a lighter trailing hemisphere, an oddity for which there is no present explanation. And Hyperion, an apparent fragment from the shattering of a larger moon, tumbling erratically in its orbit. The most intriguing of Saturn's moons is Titan, larger than the planet Mercury. It is the only moon known to have an atmosphere. Nitrogen and methane gases shroud Titan with dense clouds which our cameras cannot penetrate. The chemistry of this atmosphere is unlike that of any other. If we could descend to the surface of Titan, we might see ice mountains softly eroded by a persistent rain of complex chemicals and a deep chemical ocean, a strange parody of the oceans of Earth. Titan's atmosphere, like the ancient atmosphere of Earth, contains pre-life chemicals, but is too cold for life to evolve.
idea of a lunch again. Thank you. 